Hey guys, it's me. I know it's been a while, but uh, I really haven't had anything to really talk about. Uh, so before I start this video, I wanted to say one. I hope you can't really hear the background noise. I'm watching TV. And if you hear a cricket, you're not losing it. Um, there's a cricket loose down here in the basement. Which is good luck, apparently. So I was kind of like going through my old videos, as I do sometimes, and just looking at comments that I might have missed, because I don't always get my comment notifications. So I just looking at comments I missed and going through some of my old messages, because my inbox is like completely full. And I kind of noticed this slight recurring theme going on, and that was so many people are always telling me that they admire me because I'm so open about my weight and I'm I'm really comfortable in my own skin and, and things like that. A couple of those messages were even to the extent where people were like, you know, I just, I don't like how I look and, you know, I wish I could be more like you and be confident in myself or uh, one that really sticks out is some, some woman messaged me and she said, I could never wear short sleeve and tank top shirts like you do because I'm so embarrassed of my arms and you just, you don't even care about it. And it kind of bothers me that people are that insecure about themselves. And uh, so I wanted to just kind of give you a couple facts <laughs> and uh, a couple tips and, and just kind of generally talk about being confident in yourself. So in, on a personal level, there's two things that for me are going kind of against me. Um, one is obvious, well both of them are obvious, what am I talking about? Uh, obviously I'm goth or alternative. I'll get, that's for another video by the way. <laughs> you know, so I'm kind of like alternative and uh, I'm overweight. Two things that don't go together really when you think about it because as if one wasn't hard enough to go through, then you've got the other one. So it, <laughs> it makes life difficult. And at first, I'm not going to sit here and say that I never, you know, never felt bad about how I looked. I never, I'm not going to sit here and say I never had some self pity or put myself down because I used to all the time. I mean, all the time. It took, as you know, and it's not like every day I wake up and I'm like, you know, I'm so pretty and confident and blah, 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 blah. It doesn't, it's not like that. I feel, as strange as it sounds, I feel more confident on camera because I feel like it's important for me to be confident on camera. Um, and even, not just for myself because, you know, you should have some self-confidence and, and self-worth. It's, I am not even embarrassed to say it, it's almost because as well you want to kind of put those stereotype kind of things and, and negative things to rest. Like, you know, here I am, I'm one confident SOB, you know, so you kind of like put on a face, but no, for the most part, I, I really am. I'm, I'm really comfortable with my body. And like I said, it, it took a while to get there. Um, it kind of really just hit me one day. It was like, I don't give a shit. I mean, I wish I could be more helpful than that, but really, as far as ways to feel more confident about yourself, I mean, I, it, it just, I just woke up one morning and just said, fuck it, you know, I don't care anymore. I don't have to impress anybody. And that wasn't, and that's not even from, and I get this a lot, it's not because I'm married and I know I have somebody that's going to be there and somebody that loves me. I mean, it doesn't matter if you're single or married or taken or whatever. Uh... You know, you don't have to impress anybody. If you're worried that you're not going to be able to find somebody, you know, the right person will love you no matter what. And that sounds so cliche and old-fashioned, but it's really true, you know. There's, you know, always that kind of stereotypical thing that, you know, fat chicks, you know, usually have good personalities and, you know, skinny chicks are kind of like bitches. That's totally not true. I mean, if you have a good personality... Yeah, you know, a good personality can overcome a lot of things, honestly. And, you know, I'm not trying to toot my own horn like I'm, like, this amazing person. But, you know, my husband loves me for the person that I am. No matter how I look or how I dress or anything else. So if I woke up one morning and I 
felt like a complete bum and I wasn't like confident in myself and I felt ugly, then I would put on, you know, I call them my house dresses, you know, my nasty have holes, have stains, one piece dresses that I just laze around the house and no makeup. Don't even brush my hair because I don't feel like it. You know, you can be confident and be comfortable with yourself and still have days where you're not, you know. I think every woman goes through that where they just don't feel pretty. Um, it, we don't give ourselves enough credit. And, uh, you know, sometimes that comes out and there's nothing you're going to do about it. You know, it, it just, it bothers me that there's women who, I mean, you won't wear a tank top because of the way that your arms look. Yes, I know we should all be, you know, getting healthier and losing weight. And, you know, being overweight is a problem. Yeah, you know. But in the meantime, because it's not like you're going to lose that overnight. You didn't gain it overnight. You're not going to lose it overnight. You know, you need to be confident in yourself. You're not going to get, you're not going to get anywhere, you know, on a personal level. So while we're trying to lose weight and better ourselves, there's nothing wrong with being proud of who you are and being comfortable in your own skin. There's so much shame put onto plus size people. I mean, just today I saw an article where um, a department store in Sweden had their models, uh, mannequin models were a size 12 and a size 18, I think, and a lot of people were upset that they were condoning obesity. When, as that article said, the average woman is about a size 14. You know, obviously I've said before I have issues with plus sizes starting at like a size 14, but that's beyond the point. But, you know, there's so much shame and hate and negativity put towards, you know, plus size people. And then if you're going to throw in, if you are part of any kind of alternative subculture where you dress differently, then forget about it. I mean, it's really hard to, you know, let it roll off your back and still be confident in who you are. Like my hair, I recently... I recently shaved both sides of my head. Why? Because I wanted to. When I for, After I first did it, I was like, oh my God, I look so ugly. <laughs> but you know, I like it now. And yeah, people stare at me and people make nasty comments to me. But I don't give a shit. Which one of those people is going to be paying my bills? Which one of those people actually cares anything about me? They don't. I don't give a crap. You know, I kind of always feel like the Tony Montana of the world, you know, sometimes, you know, I've already seen Scarface, you know, that scene where he's like, you know, you need me to be the bad guy. So you can point your fingers and say, that's the bad guy. That's how I kind of feel about myself being overweight and dressing goth alternative. It's like, you know what, if you're, if these, if other people are so shallow that they need somebody to point the finger at, you know what, I'm your chick. I don't give a shit. If it's going to make you feel better about yourself by making fun of me, that's your own issue that you have to deal with. So, I think I'll stop my video here. Maybe we'll get into this like conversation another time because I feel like there's like a lot more that I wanted to say and I don't even know if I kind of got my point across, but there's really not any tips that I can give anybody to feel more confident about yourself. I mean, if you're trying to become more comfortable with yourself, I mean, honestly, it was just a thing like, I just started doing it. It never really was an issue for me. But if you don't like wearing tank tops, well, maybe wear one out. Maybe just to do a quick errand to the bank or to the, the mini mart. And if you're not comfortable, br bring a sweater with you. Or you can even start that way. Wear a tank top and a cardigan over it and then while you're just casually sitting around a restaurant, just take off your cardigan and just sit there. I mean, yeah, people might stare and people might say things, but it, you shouldn't let it affect you. It, it has, n their words have no effect on you, honestly. It's not like those words, you know, it's going to prevent you from going home. It's not going to prevent you from going to work. It's not going to prevent you from living your life unless you let it. And if you're not going to let it, then fuck it. It doesn't mean anything. So please don't put yourself down. Feel confident in yourself. Feel confident what you want to wear. And you'll be surprised how much, how much, how liberating it is to look and feel good about yourself. It's a pretty awesome thing. So uh, I guess I'll either today or tomorrow, 
I will make my alternative video. That should be fun for you guys. <laughs> so I hope this helped you. Um, I don't mind getting those comments and messages, honestly. Like it, it, it upsets me, but I feel like it's an opportunity for me to like reach out and help people. So you know, if you want to message me or talk to me about you know any kind of subject like this, honestly, feel free, guys. I mean, I'm here for you. Some of my most favorite people in the universe I've met through YouTube and on the internet. So, you know, I'm always open to talking to people. There's my Facebook. You can always message me on Facebook. Add me as a friend. I think it's on my YouTube page. So, all right, guys. Take care. Love yourselves. Be happy. And have a terrific day.